Everybody, Jason Mutt here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, wrapped up a podcast for the 502 Leader Series with Avalanche Records uh, today. Went and hung out with Micah Chandler, a uh, violinist downtown, a uh, street performer. Hung out with him downtown today. Uh, and did a whiteboarding session with my partner, Paula Barmore. And I want to talk about the power of writing stuff down. I don't know if, if you if you've really taken the time to brainstorm your ideas, but when you when you sit down with intention, this 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 thing about intention, being intentional with what you do. Sit down. Let's say you you have a business and or you have a business idea. You don't necessarily know where it's going to go, what you're going to do, uh, but but you know that, that you have something that you want to do. So sit down with a whiteboard or a big piece of paper or a little piece of paper, who cares, something. Sit down and write it down. Sit down, write down your ideas, get them out of your head, put them on paper so that you can visualize them. There is an amazing amount of power that comes with getting the ideas out of your head, putting them on something tangible that you can see. It changes it changes them from a concept in your mind to being something that's real. And once you see that idea on paper, now it's something that you can you can take and, and go a different direction and say, how am I going to do that? You know, one of the things that that has really been imparted on me that I think is super powerful is when you have something that you want to do, you know, we can come to an end goal of, of maybe a product that we want to create, a something that we want to write, a movie, wh- whatever you want to do, you have an end goal. Take that end goal and put it on paper and then work backwards. Work backwards to find the steps that you would need to take to get to that to that point or to do that thing. It's pretty simple when you think about it, when you really when you really really think about it. It's simple but it's not easy. It's difficult because it takes execution. It takes getting out of your comfort zone. It might involve doing things that you've never done before. And man, that's scary. It is scary to do things that you've never done before. But it is so exhilarating to get out of your comfort zone and to spread your wings and grow. And and the ways that you will be able to grow is astronomical and these things start exponentially snowballing so they build on each other because now your box is bigger once you do that thing that's outside of your comfort zone your circle's been expanded and it doesn't contract again it doesn't go back to that smaller place it stays and it keeps growing and growing. It, it's such a magical thing when you when you realize and when you start really investing in the things that that you're passionate about. All it takes is some simple steps. I'm a I'm gonna go back to the to the morning routines. Plan your morning. Start early. You know, you, you, everybody likes to sleep. We all love to sleep. But sleep doesn't get you anywhere. So, so wake up a little bit earlier. You know, you're going to be groggy, but 
you're going to get started earlier and you're not going to have anybody tugging at you to do something else. You're not going to have anything else. And don't check your email in the morning. I heard somebody say that email is just a to-do list that somebody else gets to add to for you. So don't check your email in the morning. Take the morning, get up an hour or two earlier. Get up two hours earlier. Think about that. Two hours that you now have to do something that you want to do. What kind of business could you create two hours a day? That's 14 hours a week. You're all you're at a part-time job just because you've gotten up earlier. How brilliant is that? And it's so simple. This idea of I don't have time is nonsense. There's so much time that we're wasting. Think about what you eat. Start eating better. Think about what you put in your body. You know, I I heard, and I'm going to reference back to Sadhguru. Sadhguru. uh, I love it. If if you haven't checked out Sadhguru, please go and and look up... uh, Look up Isha, look up uh, Inner Engineering. But Sadhguru said, your body, your body expends so much energy to process the food that you put in it that you don't get the nutrients out. So if you put in good food, good fuel, your body spends less energy processing the fuel. So more goes towards you. Think about how that you, you need less sleep. You need you need so much less food. You need less stuff. And, and that gives you more time. It's all about maximizing and optimizing your time. And there are so many small little tweaks that you can do in your life that can give you a little bit more time. If you have a little bit of time and some intention, there is so much that you can do and accomplish towards the larger goals. It is absolutely incredible. I'm a huge fan. So, start in the morning. You will not regret it by any means. Thanks for listening to my rant. I appreciate everybody that's coming on this journey. This journey is so much fun. We're just getting started. We're going to have so much more stuff that's going to help you be better. Uh, I'm so, so excited for what's to come with the Yes Brands, the Yes World, uh, starting out right here in Yes Louisville. Uh, it's, it's, It's so wonderful. So we we just want to help everybody be better in life. And when we're better in life, we can invest more in ourselves. Then we can invest more in the community. And and it's that snowball effect that just makes everything a little bit better. So thanks for listening. Uh, Share this with your friends. Uh, Give us a like on Facebook. Give us a review. Uh, Love to see it. And and shoot me a message, jason at yeslouisville.com. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and and see what you're doing uh, that might make your life a little bit better. So, thanks everybody.